Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and some beautiful journals from Claire. Claire is one of my favorite inspirations of Marketplace journals and I'm so blessed to be able to share these journals with you today. Thank you Claire for your patience. I've had these journals a very long time and I am so glad to be able to get them listed. The wonderful thing about journals is they don't really go out of style. As beautiful as they were last year, they're beautiful this year and the they are on point I love them I also want to thank you Claire for the I think this is soap um, floral garden she gave me three bars and I think she made these oh wow that's so amazing thank you there's tomato and basil floral garden and carrot and rosemary I don't know I think she made them I'm not sure all right, let's get into these journals and start with this one. It says charming. How beautiful the collage. Look at that. Gorgeous. So this is called Poppies. It is a file folder cover and her digitals used are from Artie Mays. Look at these. Look at all the goodies tucked in there. Look at those poppies. Beautiful. Of course, Artie Mays, one of the greats of junk journal digitals, in my opinion. Oh, so pretty. Pretty poppies. She always had to stop for roadside poppies. I have a poppy kit as well called Peaceful Poppies. That would be great to decorate this if you were interested. How beautiful. I love the pop of blue just kind of unexpected but goes really well <clears throat> so pretty in the land where poppies bloom you can yeah right on the back of that tag lots of collage gorgeous poppy tag there in the back There's that, ephemera piece. Coffee dyed paper. I love messy stitching. Sometimes my sewing machine does this too. Um, not good with sewing machines. So I know it has something to do with like the needle intention, but when it does do it, it's so neat for a journal. Just really cool texture. Oh. Not at the right angle, or I do not have the skills, obviously. I'll get it in there. It's not... I can't get it in, you peoples. Okay, all right. I'm just going to set it right there. <laughs> I'm hopeless. Oh, so pretty. There's another one. Ooh, that's a pretty collage tag. Right up there. Really pretty. Oh, some pretty, little pretty notepad in there. Gorgeous. It's a poppy journal. So they are in the Marketplace Journals section of the website. All right. Let's look at this one. It did get a little crushed, but honestly, I just at the top, I honestly think that that really adds to the charm and the grunge of this because it's like an old file folder. And if you wanted to, you could trim the top just a little bit and it would be, it would be fine. Pretty. Look at that. Maybe it's sewing themed. It's called Vintage Sewing and she's used My Porch Prints, again, one of the junk journal greats as far as digitals. How pretty. Really, really vintagey, but sweet and simple. Lots of places to write and to add your goodies. Well, that's pretty. Some really old paper here. Music paper. Oh, 
This is very, very usable for somebody who wants a project journal and you want to, you know, your sewing projects or your craft projects, maybe samples of the different fabrics or buttons that you get that you want to keep and hold on to. Oh, look at the teeny tinies. They're so cute. Tucked in there. Little fabric tabs. Look at that beautiful ledger paper. This is beautiful. I have not made a sewing journal in a long time, but I love making them. Look at those patent prints, so gorgeous. Beautiful use of colors. Oh, that flips open. Got some sewing instruction paper there. That is beautiful. It's a big pocket on the back too. Gorgeous. So got a vintage sewing. I love the just little pink and gold accent there on the front. Let's take a look at the next one from Claire. Look at how pretty that is. It's, oh, flips open. There's a little postcard. Flips again. Oh, wow. Look at that. And then there's a pocket up here with papers. Oh, on the back too. Does it flip? No, it's just a pocket. Oh, oh, gotta find the front cover. There we go. Correspondence. Two signatures. Wow, that is really neat. So it's like a letter writing postcard correspondence journal. Very vintage colors. Lots of beautiful spots for writing. Be a great place to keep track of your pen pals, your correspondence, your swaps. It could be a great address book. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Thoughts, wishes, and reminder. That's a beautiful pocket. It's made from an envelope. Really, really vintage, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. There's that one. Okay, oh. Tie? Oh, there it is. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. All right, set that one aside. Next, here's a traveler's notebook size. Okay, these are actually, I forgot to mention that she's from the UK. So it says Made in England 2020. She made it last year. It's called In the Pink Cardstock Cover. How oh, cute! I love this size. Isn't that pretty? Just a pink little traveler's notebook. Lots of coffee dyed pages and pretty pinks. Look at that pocket page. We have some flip. Oh, wasn't expecting that. That's neat. That's a decoupage right there on the flip. It's a vintage children. That flips open both sides. Pretty. If you love the Traveler's Notebook size, then this one would be perfect for you. It says journal. The stenciling on the edge says journal. Here is a much bigger one. Look at this cover. I'm not sure what she did here. Some kind of a, I would say it's like a texture paste, but it's much thicker than I would expect. 
So maybe she says inside. Look at that. Look at the back. Look at the little hedgehog. Isn't that cute? All right, let's get inside if we can. Well, there we go. This is called Growing by the Pathway. A clay cast. This is called a clay cast. Beautiful. Four signatures. Okay, so some of this thread is ripping through the paper because it is a very thick thread and this is just paper. It's not fabric. So that might need a little bit of, um, I say TLC, someone asked what that meant. It means tender loving care, but that's all right. I still feel like it's in here really well. She used a very thick thread. It's very nature themed. Yeah, this one's better, but that paper, you might just need to put down a little bit of uh, reinforcement in between the signatures so it doesn't rip. Pretty little bookmark, a William Morris bookmark journal card. Oh, that's pretty. Little greeting card turned into a mini booklet in the middle. That's a great idea. Look at that pretty edging, mushrooms. Got some Edith Holden coloring book pages. Those are fun to play with. Gorgeous die cuts. Yeah, see how it's just ripping through a little bit. That really thick thread is really good for holding it in. It's just the light scrapbook paper doesn't. And I'm I'm thinking it's possible that it's just the paper that's ripping. I can't tell if this. I think this might go through further into the cardboard. So it's just the paper that's ripping. I don't think this is gonna come out. Ooh, cute little tea cards. See their little little tea cards tucked in the pockets. Little pocket there. Gorgeous florals. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that paper. Little tag tuck. Ooh, that's pretty. It's a little tuck right there. Lots of vintage beauties. Pretty. Love the peacock. Oh, there's the back. That is truly pretty. I love that clay cast on the front. I've never quite seen something like that. I've seen texture paste, but that's different. It looks like she may have done the same thing here. Look at this cover. Look at that. You see how raised that is? Oh, so pretty. It says blessings on the spine. And it is called blessings Four signatures. Yep, yeah, it is a clay cast faux handmade paper. Ooh. I know um, I saw a video on this and back a while ago, I think Joanne and I were playing around with stuff like the faux paper, handmade paper. It was so much fun. It looks vintage, eclectic. I see cooking and coffee dyed and it looks like a lot of recipe type stuff. That's fun. Some tags, vintage photos, collage. That's pretty, the little book pages with the lace on the edge. Some of the signatures, this one is really, really loose. It probably just needs a little tightening. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. This one too. Really loose, might just need a little tightening when you get to the middle of it. Should be pretty easy. Yeah, it's a, let me feel the thread. Oh, that's a good thread. It's just not super tight. I am probably just leave it. I don't think it's going anywhere. Gorgeous. Look at that. There's that faux paper with the handmade paper. It's not faux paper, faux, faux handmade paper. Little altered paper clip heart. Lace. 
Everything you love in journals. Again, here in the back, really pretty. Claire, that cover is to die for. One of the prettiest covers I've seen. That is gorgeous. Look at this. Look at the collage. The lace, the papers. Ooh, looks like a brown, maybe like a brown packing paper that's been crumpled and gessoed and painted to make it stiff. It gives it so much texture and it's crunchy. That is neat. I really like that idea. This is called Victorian Shabbies, or Shabby, Digitals by Shabby Dabby Duda in the Old Design Shop. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that, those colors. Pretty sure that's Old Design Shop. She has some of the most amazing clip arts if you have not checked her out. She has a website that has free um, goodies. And then, oh, this is from... I love how she did that. This is from Postage Do. That's one of my kits. And then she also has, I believe it's an Etsy shop where you can purchase more digitals. Little file folder with a tag and some vellum. Cute idea. Little vintage bits that you can use as you're going along through the journal. Two pockets. I love that idea. Very nice idea. Beautiful, beautiful pages. ABCs. Oh, so pretty. This is neat. Maybe it's a ribbon, like one of those paper ribbons. I'm not sure. The texture's awesome on it. Pretty vintage florals. Lots of places to write. Little note sheet. Little words right here that you can use. That one's pretty. We have one more to look at. It is a fabric cover. Looks like maybe a trifold. Let's take a peek. I'm seeing an owl charm. Look at the owl. I love Al's little bird paper there. Isn't that beautiful? Looks like two signatures. Okay, get in here. Open it up. I love the, the flap that way. That is so neat. So this is paper in the middle, but when you put that over it, you see the birds peeking out. Isn't that beautiful? You could tuck a little hidden photo down here if you wanted to. Nice and soft cover. It's called Patchwork. Handmade cover, faux handmade paper. Ooh, I love that. That's the faux handmade paper. Pretty. This is Abandoned Beauty. That's one of my kits. Oh, I better take a peek at what my puppy's chewing on. What you chewing on, puppy? Oh, good boy. He has his bone. He's kind of in that puppy teething stage where... Every time I turn around, he's trying to choose something else that isn't his, but he has a bone, so he's being good. Little vintage tea cards. Ooh, look at this. You have one, two, three tag pages. That is really cool. I love that idea. Little, whoops, little tucks there. More faux handmade. Oh, that's pretty. Some flippies. Those birds are gorgeous. I think they're pockets too. So you have little journal cards tucked in them. Stenciling, a little bit of texture paste. More tag pages. Those are fun. If you don't want a whole page for the day, you just want to write something short, that's a great option. I know you guys are going to really enjoy these journals. I know I've been inspired by them. I want to thank you for watching this channel, and I hope you will subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and enjoy shopping. 
The link is below. Thank you, Claire, for your beautiful work. Gorgeous. I am looking forward to seeing more work from you this year, I hope. Very beautiful. All right. Well, thank you so much from watching, from watching, for watching. Have an excellent day.